Well, good day to everybody from Salt Church and anybody else who is watching this video. Some members of our congregation are putting together some reflections and some encouragements, and I'd like to introduce Robert McDonald, who's done a reflection on lockdown. Hi there, everyone. What has become most noticeable for me during lockdown is how the simple things in life take on a whole new meaning. After a few days in lockdown, I thought I, would, I, I thought I would stop shaving and grow a beard, something I've never done before. Our lives have been turned upside down. Simple everyday things have been turned upside down by an unseen virus of which we have no, little or no control. But the thing is, there are many, many things of which we have no control. I was sitting in the garden just the other day looking at some flowers. Now, as I play golf, I am no gardener at all, but I do like a flower or two. But as I was looking around and I could see some flowers in full bloom, there were buds just about to open and there were tiny little tight buds just about developing. Signs of new life all around me. Even the boring old aloe vera cactus was starting to unfurl a new leaf. It made me think about God and his creation. God has set in motion something beautiful, something that no man can choose to destroy. Our God is in control. His son, Jesus Christ, flung stars into space, set the paths for the planets and for our sun and moon, setting our seasons and our day and our night time. Spring has sprung, summer is on its way, a new day is dawning. I was locked down, but nature was not. God's natural creation goes on. Our God is in control. Our days may feel long and our nights perhaps longer since we have been in lockdown. Perhaps we feel we have been in hiding because we can't go out and see our friends and family. Perhaps even you're on your own and your family is your church family. Perhaps not only have we been officially locked down, but we ourselves have individually and spiritually locked down. Perhaps we feel detached, depressed, despondent. Our first parents felt detached, depressed and de despondent. But our Father God made it his work to seek them out. Where are you? He asked. Adam and Eve were at their lowest ebb. Their perfect world, their normal life was changing. God didn't ask, where are you? In physical terms. God knew exactly where they were. God was asking, where are you? In relational terms. In these difficult times where things are in most part out of our control, we must remember that our Father God is in control. I started shaving again because it wasn't me. It didn't feel right. It's easy to let things slip in lockdown. It's easy, if you're like me, to put things off until tomorrow. It's easy to become easy with God. Where are you? Our Heavenly Father is asking now. In these strange times, we can depend completely on our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Paul wrote, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. I read something a few weeks ago, which I took great encouragement from. It went like this. Jesus is my glory on the brightest day, my comfort, in the darkest night. Whatever happens, whatever befalls in these next few weeks or months, remember this, our Creator God 
Your Creator God is in complete control. Amen.